Yo, what's up, guys? It's International O back at it with another one. You know what you got to do. You got to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, man. It is greatly appreciated. I got another banger today, as you can see in the description. Um, I really wanted this shoe, man. And honestly, either color. I wasn't really tripping on either color. Uh, he had a drop on his website for the shoe. It was a mess, man. And of course, it was on a big cartel platform, which is like kind of like the most basic online uh, retail platform you can use. I've used it before when I had my jacket sales. I might do one soon, but yeah, I had my jacket sales on big cartel. So I actually got through and at checkout, I hit the pay now button. It was loading and then it went sold out, struck out. I thought all hope was lost for me with that shoe. Um, I think it was maybe the next day I got a, a, a notification from Soul Retriever. Get that Soul Retriever app showing that they dropped. Uh, and I started looking around. They were selling the drops coming live. There was only like two stores left that were doing a drop. Got on. They had uh, small sizes and a 14. I grabbed the 14 because I heard that you have to go a half size up on this so there was no 13 and a half i went full size up and i'm actually not mad that i did because i tried them on and they do fit so here it says grid shadow 2 but of course it is the j tips grid shadow 2 what's the occasion so that's the colorway that i got man show up on time what's the occasion this is a dope shoe shout out to j tips man he has really been killing it uh, he did a drop for these only at Complex Con. He did a, a, an early drop at Complex Con uh, first before he did the drop on his website. And I saw the videos, man, the lines were long and insane um, for him at that event. Now, prior to this, this is his second drop with Saucony. The first drop he had, that shoe flew off the shelves. It was stores here. Um, Premium Goods here had them, but I didn't make it up there in time to line up. But let's get to the shoe. I know you guys want to hear the shoe. I'm doing a lot of talking, but I like kind of giving the background of these shoes. As you can see here on the back, it says Savior. And here on the side, it says Forever. Man, like his first pair of shoes was the Remember Who Fronted. This is when uh, brands, you know, would kind of give him the cold shoulder and didn't want to work with him. But this shoe is beautiful, man. I like that that stringy material here on the side it has a mesh upper has a, a few hints of like some synthetic not even maybe some leather on here not even it's like a new book maybe material here on the top it has the flowers he has a dope website too if you want like merch he dropped a dope jacket uh letterman jacket with these and he also has some clothes on his website uh that drop that go with the shoe but his all his other merchandise is pretty dope you should check it out i'm actually going to get a shirt a shirt that goes with this i think it was a complex con t that he had but um i love these man I, I i like when people really put a lot of details and designs into a shoe and that's something that he did with this shoe uh the first pair i liked them but i really i'm not a really a big hot pink guy like that but the shoe was dope it was still dope i considered it because it was dope um this one has hints of pink in it but the overall base of the shoe is multicolored, and uh i like it though i really like this shoe i like what he's doing that blue pair is nice i might have to try to go after that blue pair if resale is not too high i think last time i checked it was like three something i'm not i'm not going that route but uh retail on the shoe i think was 160 if I'm not mistaken, but yeah, J tips is really knocking it out the park with his, uh, creations, man. And you should definitely go check it out. I like these shoes and, and, and with him doing a deal with Saucony, I've been waiting honestly on, on them to work with collaborators, them, uh, with, with black designers, uh, Asics as well, because they have a lot of dope, comfortable shoes. It's just finding the right designer to come in and kind of add their uniqueness to it to make it stand out uh and bring more awareness to their brands because asics and Saucony really are killing it when it comes to comfort when you're getting shoes uh so i'm glad that they did a collab with him he knocked it out the park both times i am not mad at this shoe uh you can definitely check it out like i said aftermarket is a little up there it's not too bad as it was it was originally insane before they start releasing at other retailers 
Um, and not, you can also hit trade block to check out the trade block app. If you want to pull some trades, they are making updates to the app. You can kind of slowly start to see the updates, uh, for the positive, uh, that are going on on the app as we speak. I, I was actually in a, um, a Google meet chat with some of the developers and the team there on what they can do on making improvements. So we kind of gave our opinions on what they can do to make improvements on the app and they listen and they're working on that. So I'm going to be patient and continue to work with them on that any way I can to help bring that to the community um, and give people what they want when it comes to that platform. But that pretty, that's pretty much it, man. Thank you guys for